In trouble with the law? Call Abracadabra Bail Bonds, and they'll have you out in a... According to the declaration, Halfrick and his neighbor began drinking the day before. After several hours of consuming alcohol, Halfrick said the neighbor then proceeded to tell him there was a hit out on Halfrick's life and that he planned to kill him for money. The neighbor then allegedly picked up his hunting knife and began chasing Halfrick around the trailer with it. Halfrick said he tried twice to subdue the man. After failing to stop him, Halfrick said he picked up a metal baseball bat and hit his neighbor in the side of the head. He told Nye County Sheriff's Office deputies that after killing the neighbor, he had driven up to Wheeler Pass Road and dumped the body, hoping it would be eaten by coyotes. Detectives responded and began processing the scene for evidence. According to the report, they located numerous pieces of evidence corroborating the information that was provided by Halfrick. During the investigation, it was determined that Sylvia Castillo was a participant in the crime and assisted her boyfriend, Peter J. Halfrick, in the disposal of the body. She has currently not been located, and Knight County Sheriff's Office detectives are actively attempting to locate her. Local residents will recognize Castillo as a regular who frequently bike rides around town. Nye County Search and Rescue were called out in an attempt to locate the body in Wheeler Pass. After an extensive search, the victim, whose name has not been released pending notification of next of kin, was found in a ravine in the Wheeler Pass area in Clark County. Nye County General Assignment Detectives assisted the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the Clark County Coroner's Office with processing the scene where the body was recovered. An autopsy examination will be conducted by the Clark County Coroner's Office and the cause of death determined subsequent to the examination. Peter J. Halfrick was arrested and booked into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center on the following charges. First degree murder, destroy or conceal evidence, battery with a deadly weapon with substantial harm, conspiracy to commit a crime. Anyone with information about the crime or the whereabouts of Sylvia Castillo are asked to contact the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 751-7000. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46.